My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will talk about the get position and the move window. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. So the get position. We can have a window here, a notebook. We can move it around on the screen and each position got a different set of coordinates like you know in from a coordinate system like x comma uh, y. So this one will be close to 0, 0.0 because it's the upper left corner that we're in. And this one could be, I don't even know, maybe 400.600 or we will find out. Um, remember that this is just a part of my screen so we can actually move it up here but you can't see it so this one will probably start with um, some other coordinates than it would be if we had the whole screen so now you know we can even get the width of a of a window like this document uh, so this one got a really wide width and this one got a not so wide width and equally with the height why is that smart well i once was a professional poker player i played poker online for 15 years And it was important that uh, I had a lot of tables open, more than 20, and I had some programs done, database programs and other things open. It was important that every window was in the right spot because otherwise I couldn't manage to uh, operate all those tables. So let's say that this was a poker table. I had one table up here, and then I would have one here, here, here. And sometimes I changed if I played uh, some other variant and I wanted another setup. I used shortcuts and it was actually win automation. Uh, back then, it was really good for my purpose. So, um, and uh, let's say that you are a, maybe a customer service agent, and you have a CRM here. You want uh, when the phone calls, you want uh, that get up here. You might want some documents opened or a folder or anything you can imagine. Uh, and we want it positioned on the screen the same time, uh, the same place every time, so we don't waste time in uh, placing it ourselves. So, how do we do that? We can easily solve it in UiPath, as always. So first, we will get a an attached window here, drag it in. We will indicate our notebook. That one will be the one that we will get the position from here. We will, um, now we can output it. So we need an output that will just be a window variable. So move to output, application window, control K. We can say window notepad like this, and we can open the variables manager, and we can see that we got a variable type uh, of window. So uh, now we can get the position here. We will uh, take the get position, then we will indicate um, this notebook, and um, we will output it into a rectang rectangle variable. So again, control K, we could call this rec, Notepad. This one will be our note uh, rectangle. This one will be our position and uh, meshes uh, variable. Here we can even see that it's uh, saved as a variable type rectangle. Choose the sequence here. Then we will just close the variable so we got more space up here. Now we got the position stored in a variable, and we want to uh, write out the position and the meshes. So uh, we just use a right line, drag it in into sequence. And uh, what we want to do is that we want to take the rectangle variable and uh, uh, write it to a string like this. And uh, this works. We can see now, maybe just move it here. We can get the position now and the meshes. So uh, let's go. Uh, we click output and we can see that we got an x variable. That's uh, the x coordinate, the y coordinate. Uh, And then we got a width and a height. We can see that, uh, let's say that the width is 409 now. This one uh, is a lot wider. We can see uh, how that changes the variable. Run it again. And we can see now that the width is now 1385. We can even move this around and we will get another x and y coordinate. So we can even, if we only wanted the width of a document, we will just uh, type in uh, between this rect notepad and to string, we'll just type in width uh, dot, and then we will only get the width out. In our output here, we can see that the width is 638. And the same thing uh, can be done if we um, say we wanted the x coordinate 
and we just type in x here and similar with height and y. So now we get the x coordinate and this will change uh, whether the window is here or here, of course. We can see the x coordinate down here. It's 1265. So how can we use that? We can use it to move the window. Say that we always, always warned it uh, when the phone calls. We want uh, the notepad to be uh, up here in the upper right corner like here. So first we will get this position and then we will move the window to that position. So let us change this one. Now first we just get the position, we run the file. We click the output here and we can see we got the position. Then we use the move window. We drag it in under here. And the move window wants an input variable, and that's why we created this attach window up here. So uh, we just gave it the window variable from up here, the window notepad. Here. And then we can give it a height, width, and the x and the y. So um, we just look at our output. It will be 12, 19. It will be, oh, it will be 3, 5, 8. Here. And uh, then the x and the y will be 638 and 468. 638 for 6 third. I'll just take one at a time. <laughs> Sorry. The width will be 638. And the height will be 468. I've always been bad in, I'm good at putting numbers and uh, good with calculations, but I've always been bad in, bad in remembering numbers. So if you got any suggestion on how you can improve that, let me know. I could barely remember a phone number actually. So um, now we move the window here and we, we, we size it uh, to be exactly the size. So let's try to move it down here and do this and then try to run it and see if, it, uh, if it's not fixing it fixing it itself so now we run it and we can see that it moves up here in the right uh, width height and the position that's quite clever isn't it we could uh, drag in our crm so when the phone calls we want the crm to be up here i could uh, just do it in the same modus as here or you can do it and you can do it with a lot of programs actually it's good when you got your daily uh, schedule open you can have a uh, a lot of things open and position them well so that when you go to work you'll just have your all your stuff where you wanted them that's it for now if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and have a good day bye bye